What's up guys? Sam here, Cali Cowboy. What's going on? Uh, last Sunday without football, super excited. I wanted to make a video for you guys, have made one in a while, but I'm back here and I'm uh, ready. So yo, it's been a while since we had depth on the D-line. Absolutely freaking amazing. Woo! Got rid of DeMarco this offseason to balance out the whole team, right? We need, we need defense, guys. I'm super happy that we upgraded our D-line. Um, you know, Greg Hardy, uh, <laughs> super dope. I've seen that he uh, pitched in for the uh, banner that's gonna fly over Philadelphia's training camp that says, we still the boys. <laughs> Woo! He's dope so far, so good. I like, he. I know he's a beast on the field, but he's like, he sounds like he's a pretty uh, pretty good guy off the field as well. And he's pretty, pretty funny. So I already like him already. Haven't even seen him, you know, Unleashes his crack. At Greg Hardy, Demarcus Lawrence, who came on strong last year. Absolutely love Demarcus Lawrence. Woo! Then we got Mincy from last year, who really did well for us, you know, for what we had. He just, you know, ended a little mini holdout. Uh, I guess he was mad about his one million, which I think he does deserve more than just one one point five million or whatever he's getting paid. But uh, I don't. He doesn't have any leverage. He's in a contract already. Um, and he loses money the more days he loses in camp, so it's smart for him to stay. Randy Gregory, who, you know, we're in 94. Charles Haley. Charles Haley is a funny dude. <laughs> he was making fun of Mickey Spagnola, call him ugly. He's the OG 94. Demarcus Lawrence, uh, Demarcus Lawrence. Demarcus Ware is, you know, the second 94. And then we got Randy Gregory coming in wearing that 94 again. Woo! He got some big shoes to fill, but I think he can. He has a lot of talent, a lot of promise. You're not going to expect too much out of him. I just want him to grow, stay injury free, you know, and just, and just grow into his frame, put on more muscle and see what kind of, you know, freak he can be, what kind of pass rusher he can be. Tyrone Crawford is a beast. He's our defensive tackle stud and he's going to get better this year. I, I think he'll be the main cog that will take a lot of double teams off of, you know, of the sides. And guys, have you seen the package that we have on D-Line? We can have Demarcus Lawrence, Craig Hardy, Tyrone Crawford, woo, and Randy Gregory. So just have a super speed package where we could just rush the, oh my God, it's just beautiful to think about because we've never had, we haven't had this in a long time. You know, maybe since the 90s, guys. This is, this is really, really good. When you think about the trade-off for DeMarco, you know, good running back, very good running back versus very good D-line. I think I'll take the D-line, guys. You know, I love DeMarco. You know, I'll be honest, and I, I'll still watch him over there in Philly. But, uh, guys, we, we needed a D-line, guys. We needed a pass rush to help out our offense and help out the DBs in the back. And we've invested in our O-line so much already that I think we can handle just having, you know, an okay running back back there. We got Joseph Randall. Give him the first chance. We're trying to bring in Chris Johnson or, or Steven Jack. No. We need to give Joseph Randall the first try at it. Because when he did get chances last year, he was pretty nice. So let's see what he can do. Give him the first touches. Let him be the lead back. Woo! Until he proves otherwise. All right. So yeah. D-line, running back, I'm absolutely excited about. Of course, our offensive line, I'm excited about. What scares me the most is our linebackers. For Londo McClain... You know, doing the, the four-game suspension, drugs or whatever. Can't stay healthy either. He's on the PUP. So that leaves us with Anthony Hitchens, who I like. You know, he's solid. But he's still a second-year player, still learning in the NFL. And Sean Lee, who kind of kind of scared of his injuries. I really pray and hope that he could stay healthy this season. And he will be on the strong side. And Jas Jasper Brinkley who is a veteran middle, middle linebacker only. And guys, that's that's about it. Andrew Gatchkar, uh, Will Smith, who we just signed like yesterday, and um, Donnie Bags. That's about it, guys. We need linebackers in this future, like future drafts. We need to start drafting linebackers with a high pick. Our linebackers are cool. As long as our D line takes off most of the pressure, we'll be good. And we do have an okay uh, secondary. Our linebackers really, they depend heavily on Rolando McClain and Sean Lee. Kind of scared, but at the same time, you never know who could step up. You never know what can happen. And I pray that injuries just don't hit us like they have been in the past. But they're going to happen, guys, I know. 
injuries are going to happen, but let's see what happens. Who I'm going to be watching uh, this training camp over in Oxnard, which I wish I could be at. Wasn't able to make it to Oxnard this year. Barring some miracle, I won't be there. But I will be at this preseason San Diego Chargers and Cowboys game. You can count on that. As I'm looking for Mo Claiborne to step it up. This is his contract year, so he needs to step it up, stay healthy, get his confidence up, and just prove why he was a first-round pick. I put up or shut up for him. Another person I'm watching this offseason, taking it to offense, Terrence Williams. He needs to take it to his game to the next level. He's already nice last year and last season. He came on pretty strong, and I like that. Woo! Really stepping it up in the, in the playoff game. He needs to take that next step because we got Dez getting double teamed like every single play. And now Terrence Williams is one-on-one -on -one most of the time. It'll make our offense so much harder to guard if we got two, you know, two wide receiver studs on the ends. And then we could just you know, run the ball because I know we can run the ball with our own line. Woo! All right, guys, I'm out. Going to uh, finish watching the NFL Network, watching our boys practice, uh, see what happens. <laughs> uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that. Reach out to me. Holla at y'all later. Peace.